Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cthulhu table and tonight we're going to be doing the second of three pours. I mixed up some metallic red and black in equal parts and poured it into a stir stick into the table. So it was definitely already a little bit of a bubbly mixture and the stir stick is only there to prevent adding additional bubbles like when pouring a beer down the side of glass. And I'm typically a habitual degasser but in the case of colored pigments I really don't even bother. Even if there are some air bubbles there the pigment will absolutely mask it. I didn't show it, but you can see I scuffed up that bottom layer of epoxy because I need a mechanical bond between the two. It would always be better to have a chemical bond, but these are two different types of epoxy. That first layer I pour is tabletop. But the way we did this gives us one cool thing. You see all those bubbles forming up at the bottom there? Cue the slow motion torch shot. And there it is in all of its satisfying glory. But that's not all there is. There's a whole nother void at the side of this slab. This void is as empty as my wallet after my wife's trip to Target. So let's go ahead and fill it up with some of that epoxy and see how it turns out. It's definitely got a little bit of a gore look going on there. Quick little mix to get weird with this wood. 